Hi, everyone. Can you see me at all? <laughs> Okay, wave if you can see me. Hi, can you guys see me? Hi, can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Hi, everyone. Okay, so I am kind of nervous because this is live, but I do want to thank you for being here. I'm going to fix something really quick. Okay, so I just want to welcome you guys, and I just got to remind myself that there are no retakes on this. So let me see. So we have Lisa, Kim, Vanessa, Kelly, so April, Lori, oh, Aunt B Creations. And I, I know your real names, trust me, but right now I'm just reading it off here. So I'm like kind of nervous, but yes, you guys all, I see like some familiar names. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to be here. And I just need to kind of relax for a minute. So I'm, I'm just, I'm going to talk about sewing. So let me get right into that. So on my video on, um, let's see, on Friday, I posted about making this shirt for my daughter, this dress. And so, yes, I did get this made. Let me see if I have a better picture, but it it's fancy. Let's see, because it's got a collar on here, which you can't really see, and buttons. And so right now I'm just showing you this. And so I'm just waiting for like more people to come along and we'll do like a We'll start officially here in a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Dixie. So let's see. Okay, so what we will do is go right into just, oh, one thing that I want to say is make sure that you are signed in because uh, you can you can't comment unless you are signed in and doing the live feed. So if you haven't said hi yet, just make sure that you say hi so we know that you're here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is move right into the I'm so festive creations, what everybody has made. And first, I want to thank a few people here. So who I want to thank is we have um, Fabric Universe. They, <coughs> excuse me, are going to be giving a $50 gift card. And we are going to be doing it right here in the live feed. So again, make sure that you are signed in because in order to win this gift card, you're going to be doing a comment and we're going to be uh, doing a game where we do like a live name picker. So it's really fun. And then another thing that or another person that I want to thank is Custom Coco. She also. Oh, and these guys have Etsy shops online. Um of course. And so then I want to also thank Custom Coco. And what I want to do is just kind of show you their websites really quick. So let me come down here and I'm going to hit this and I'm going to share my screen. Oh, hold on a second here. I got to be like really tech savvy. So let's see. Oh, 
Okay, so this first one that we have is called Fabric Universe, and this is where we're going to get the $50 gift card is coming from this website. And you can see here they have a ton of fabric that you're going to love. They have all kinds of double brush poly of with all the holidays and you guys Valentine's is coming up. So I know we're not through Christmas yet, but we do, you know what I mean? Valentine's is the next holiday around the corner. And so we're going to be wanting to make some stuff for Valentine's. They've got a lot of solids here and just a ton of knits and just every type of fabric that you can think of. They even have some rayon spandex. Uh, oh, but but also before I begin, so, um, oh, first off, let me know where are you from? I forgot to ask that. So I know some of you are local here to Utah, but also I wanna see like what other states are involved. So just leave a comment and let me know what state you're in. You can share your city if you'd like as well. New York, Missouri, Case, Oregon, Georgia, Arizona. Oh, see, it's fun to see where everybody is from. Okay, so let me see. Let me make sure that I got everybody here. Ooh, from Australia, Utah, New York. Very nice. Okay, so now this next one that I'm showing you is this is another prize that we are giving away. It's a custom mug from Custom Coco. And you can have your name printed on the bottom or whatever that you want printed. And she also has not just sewing mugs, but she has a lot of other mugs here that are just really fun for you to look through. So that is another one. So I want to thank her for also donating a gift to our live stream. Okay. And then the other, let me go back here really quick. Okay, let me go back. Okay, and then I also want to thank Kathy. She actually donated uh, some $50 towards the live stream, and she is another viewer. And so I don't know if Kathy is here right now, but thank you. And so what we are going to do with that is we're going to give away a $25 gift card to Etsy and a $25 gift card to Amazon. So those are a few gifts. And we're just going to do them randomly through the live feed. So I won't wait clear until the end. We'll just do them um, as we go and look through our holiday makes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we got some new things here. Okay, and so we've got also... Oh, okay, so... It looks like Tiffany and One Lisa Show are from, they're also in Indiana near Chicago. So, okay. So moving on. And again, I want to welcome all of the newbies that are coming in. I show that we have 25 uh, new people on right now. So thank you for coming aboard. Okay. And so then I also want to thank um, One Lisa Show and also Kim Gaddy Sews for helping get the word out on the I'm So Festive Challenge. 
So when you do things like this, yeah, you need to get um, other people to like kind of help spread the word. But I think we had a really good turnout, like a ton of people um, what would you, participated and showed their makes. So let me go ahead and I'm going to share my screen and we're going to look at the hashtag I'm so festive. First, I did have a few email me. And so right here we have, let me see if it comes up. Okay, let me just leave that one right there. And then I'm gonna pull up my Instagram. Okay, so there's a lot. So I am just waiting for my screen to load and then I will pop it back over here to you. So let's see. So we're going to share. Okay, so here we are. So hopefully you guys can see this already. And so here are some of these. And I got to tell you, this was one of the first right here. And I'm not sure if she's she's here in the live stream yet. But this sure, I felt like it was just so adorable. And she uh, is giving, this is for her grandson. And she said he's known as the shirt guy. So this is one that I just thought was so cute. And it actually inspired me to make my daughter's shirt um that has the collars on it and then here's my shirt i'm wearing this this one right now and this one is actually mccall's 8144 let me go ahead and pull this out up here for a minute so that i can see what's going on So yeah, hopefully you guys got a few smiles when you were wearing your shirts. Okay, so let me see what we have here again. Oh, and then this one I thought was another fun one too from Pinky's Farm. And so let's see. So here's the pack. And then she, if you go to these guys uh, individually to their pictures, you'll be able to see like all the like the patterns that that, that they used. Okay, let's see. And so everybody just kind of shared like the fabrics that they had. And oh my gosh, this dress is so cute right here too. Yeah, little sewing basket. She actually made a lot for the I'm So Festive challenge. Let's see. It says this pattern is from Gina Barney Designs and the fabric is from Henry Glass. So that one is a cutie one for sure. It was actually, a, it's fun making little dresses for the little ones. I'm going to try to go in order here. This is also one that I made from Simplicity 9385. I really, really love that pattern as well. Let me grab a drink here really quick. Oh, and then we're going to see this one in a minute, too, because she finally she got that one done as well. And then here is another cute one that <coughs> excuse me, that she made for her grandbabies. And this one, I know Kim does some really good quilters, cotton collars as well. And so I just love that. I'm, I'm wanting to make more shirts like this in 2022 for sure. OK, and then. 
Renata from the Twilight Stitcher. Look at how pretty this snowflake dress is. And I'm wondering, I think she did share what the pattern was, but I'm not for certain. So she did a few of them as well. Oh my gosh, look at the cute little, I wonder if I can do, let's see. Oh my gosh, the ones for the little girls are just so cute. It says she's worn it for five days and counting. And that one is cute. That one has little gingerbreads on it. Naughty Gnome. <laughs> I love this one too. I was, if you guys follow her channel, I was kind of surprised. I was happy though that she joined in because she had mentioned that she's not really, um, I can't remember the term that she used, but she was just going to go uh, not really in the festive way, but I was so happy to see that she made this vest out of like some cute festive fabrics. And then there is Renata from the Twilight Stitcher. She is also, I don't know, raise your hand or do a little comment if any of you are going to be participating in the Little Red Dress Project. I know it's like a busy time of the year. I'm trying to get my red dress made. So we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of challenges here on Instagram, but it makes it a lot of fun. And then that's the video. Oh, and she's got some cute embroidery going on. Very, very pretty. Oh, and then this is the little sewing basket again. I love that Santa Claus fabric. Oh, and then this is the dress that Becky got done. And this one she, she used. Oh, I'm trying to see what pattern it was that she used creative mama she made a few of them her, herself that were really cute and she's got a youtube channel as well oh there's the pattern again or the the dress that one is so pretty oh and then here's my little one she's just i this one is like a color block tee that i made uh, just using one of the Ellie and Mac patterns. And this day she was not very happy because she thought it was Christmas. <laughs> and then here are my two daughters. I made them some pajamas out of a knit fabric from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. So let me know, have any of you guys bought a knit fabric from Raspberry Creek? Oh, hi, Wandering Bob and working. Yes, I know. I saw your channel the other day. You're working on the Little Red Project dress. So I can't wait to see that one. And then Simplicity 8833. Hi, Ingrid. Okay, so right now, okay, we're 20 minutes in. I'm going to, we're going to do a drawing. Let's see how many, we have 32 people on here. So let me go back and I'm going to stay where I'm at on that one. But let me find, hold on, I'm going to do add this. Is that going to let me do that? Okay, so right now we're going to do prizes really quick and then we'll look at the rest of the I'm so festive okay so the first one that we're going to do, give away is this sewing mug oh let me go back a little bit more oh okay so while I'm setting that up it's going to take me a minute you guys are going to tell me you're going to leave a special comment so hold on a second here. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute to set this up.
Okay, so this is going to be so fun. Yes, so all you do is type in the comment the word sewing. And so I'll give you guys a minute here. And let me make sure, hold on. Okay, so just put in the word Yes. So, okay. Sewing. Yes. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to do that. And then I'm going to just kind of take another drink here. Okay. So I think we are ready. So I'm going to come over here. Oh, okay. And I'm going to share this screen so you guys can see the comment picker. But let me see. How do I do that? So I'm going to share. Share screen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Yay, Wandering Bobbin is the winner of the sewing mug. So what you will do, and I'm going to write that down as well. Let's see. Okay, so you are going to email me at um, delilathomas.comcast.net. And so that one is for Wandering Bobbin. And then I'm going to, um, so, oh, okay, so you did put your name. Okay, so let me see. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. And so Katie will email me and she will say, you know, I'm Katie from Wandering Bobbin so that I can reply back to you and then I'll give you the code and everything that you need to get a hold of custom creations so that you can get your customized mug. So yay, because I think you drink tea, if I remember right. So you you will look so cute in that mug, I promise. Okay, so let's go back and look at some more of the festive creations. So let me go ahead. Okay, we're gonna go to the, that one. I, okay, let's see. Okay. 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 So here are some pillows that we have from Jiffer 82. I need to be more festive around my house with that. Oh, okay. I do remember Lorraine made a shirt out of this candy cane fabric and we'll see it here again in a minute and those are just like the prizes that i listed here is another one from renata from the twilight stitchery and she i love the pictures that she does it's always it's kind of a struggle i mean would you agree trying to get good pictures of your makes sometimes that you know i mean sometimes you'll have like a beautiful um 
piece of apparel or a shirt or something that you like, and then you've got like a horrible picture. That's my struggle a lot of times. So she always has some really pretty pictures that she's made. And that one is used for a made for mermaids pattern. Oh, and then this one, she is a lot of fun too. I love her dress. This one is using Butterick 5748. And she is a fun one to follow as well. She goes to Disneyland a lot. Yeah, I I also like I finish sewing my daughter's dress and um she there's I don't have any good pictures of her in the dress. I have one in front of the swing machine in front of the uh Christmas tree, but she's just like blended in. It's nice to get some good outdoor ones. Oh, and then this is another one that Creative Mama of 3 made. I love the color blocking and the raglan. And it takes, I mean, yeah. Oh, how cute. I love those fabrics. And the cute reindeer. Oh, this is cute. I love doing the little, um, I can't remember what that trimming is called. Pom-poms. Oh, and such pretty floral from Australia. She's got the cute little bummies. Is that the same? Sometimes it's hard to put the names and faces, you know, on Instagram versus YouTube. And then there is my daughter. She's wearing the matching shirt that I'm wearing today. This one is another fun one too, Sewing for Therapy. This is made with McCall's 7836. Let's see who's new. Let's see, we've got, hi, Catherine. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Amy. Oh, I just, what did I just do? Okay, hold on, guys. I missed my, I got us all mixed up here for a minute. Okay, let me try this again because I'm going backwards. Okay, here we are. Okay, I want a pair of these pajamas. This is from Christine Sews a Lot. Okay, so now, okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up for another prize. Oh my gosh, but I love, I've made this pattern before. This is from Melody Dawn Sews. This is McCall's 7122. I love the raglan sleeve and I just love that fit. Like how Christmassy is that? And I love the, her, the background that she has as well. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here and we're going to do prizes again. Okay, and now I'm just reading some of your comments. It's kind of a delay. It's so even though it's live, there's like a four to five second delay, maybe 10 second delay. So... Oh, Melody, that that's okay. Melody, you put that's me. Are you talking about what dress? The raglan one? The which Melody? I'm just curious. Are you the Disneyland dress or the plaid raglan dress? <laughs> okay, so, 
Oh, the plaid. Yes, I love that one. And I love that pattern. You guys, that McCall's pattern is a keeper. I've made that one a couple of times. I love the flow of it because on the cover, it looked like it was tight fitting, but it really has a nice drape to it. Okay, so the next prize that we are going to do is going to be, oh, the Etsy gift card. So we have a $25 Etsy gift card. And remember, Etsy is not affiliated with this giveaway at all. So go ahead and put on their um, creative. Okay, so it looks like everyone has got their creative in. So we're going to share this. Okay, here we go. Sally Malmberg. Yay! Okay, so Sally, I'm going to write down your name right here, and that is for the Etsy gift card. Okay, and so Sally, when you email me, um, just I just want to make sure that it's going to be coming from an email that says like Sally Malmberg. Or if, for example, you have a different email address, you can just post a comment leaving like the first part of your email. That way that I know that it's actually you that won the prize, if that makes sense. So my email, I'm going to post a comment on my email again. Yay, I am so happy that you're happy. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to go back and look at, let's see, some more of, let's see. Okay. Okay. Now we're back here. Yeah. That dress is just so pretty. Oh, and then we've got this one lounge pants from 8378 and an apron. You know, I make, I have a few aprons, but I've never worn them. I need to get better about that. Here we have a snowflake shirt. This is from Simplicity Pattern. This one does not show the pattern, but it looks very familiar. This looks like a really nice pattern. 
another one from Create Creative Mama of Three. This one is very festive too. I just love the raglan. And this one doesn't show the pattern. Oh, and this is Mari's. This one is called the Wilma Sweater by Serena Patterns. I've yet to make a hoodie. Oh, no, Aunt B. Oh, you mean when they flip the, the thing, you have not seen your name go up. We'll have to watch for that for next time. Question. Does the word have to be in all lowercase letters? It doesn't say if it's all lowercase, but if you've been doing them in uppercase, are you the only one do we that is doing the uppercase? Who else was doing the uppercase that didn't see their name? So for this next one, let's go ahead and do, when we do the next giveaway, let's just do all lowercase. So we, we still have two prizes left and we're gonna do them in all lowercase. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do all lowercase. Hold on a second. And if I don't see your comment, you can just type it in all caps so I can make sure that I read your, your comment. Let's see. I did uppercase in the first one. Okay. Okay, so that's from Mari Sews. Here's some more cute aprons from the Little Sewing Basket. I love those fabrics. Another one from Creative Mama of Three. And if you're on here, let me know where did you get your fabric? In fact, I am just curious because I'm seeing so many festive makes. Leave me a little comment. Where did you get your holiday fabric this year? Oh, and I love this one. The red stretch velvet. I love the ruffles. And I, like, this is something that I would wear because I like that it's not form fitting and then it has the ruffles. So, you know, if you indulge at a Christmas party, you don't have to like be self-conscious about your midsection, I guess. But I love, I love that. Let's see here. Jo yeah, Joanne's had some really cute festive fabrics this year. And then this one, and I think she was saying that, she, oh yeah, I love this one too. This is another one from Twilight Stitcher. This is her daughter that she made for. What pattern is this one? This one doesn't say what the pattern is either. She takes really good pictures though. Here's another festive make. This one is Butterick 5495. Oh yeah, Olga's Closet. They do have some cute fabrics as well. Oh, here is another fun one Andra makes. She's also been having a really fun sewing vlog that she's been doing. And this one is so cute. It's got cute little pom-poms. Oh, I forget that there's, let's see, actually some more makes here. There is a close-up of it. Those are some cute little llamas from McCall 7630. I really want that pattern as well. Oh, here's another one from Creative Mama of Three. 
Oh, I love there's and you guys, there are so many fabric shops on Etsy. I love going through um, like, let me I can't think off the top of my head some of my favorite ones on Etsy, but um, that's what I love about. Oh, hold on a second here. I wrote down Etsy gift card. Hold on. I got to look through these comments again really quick. Sally. Okay, Sally won the Etsy gift card. Ooh, you'll have to tell us what you decide to get. Okay, but I wanted to say on this one, on her scarf, it actually has a zipper pocket. So you can put, you know, a hidden gem or a treat in your scarf. Okay, and then so April, she, I I was thinking about her because she does have one of those, um, well, I think like a cricket maker, but she did attach that. I don't know. April, are you still here? I saw you earlier, but she made this one. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. That one is so cute. Using a Sinclair pattern. Oh, yeah. The pom-poms and llamas are so cute. Oh, okay. And then this one is by a hobby lover. She's had a lot of really cute makes as well. Simplicity 1317 with her cute little dog. Oh, how cute is this fabric? Did she say where she got this? I don't know. That looks so cute though. Oh, and then here's the vid. This is by Becky. Becky has been very busy. Oh, and then this is the one with the cute little gnomes. And also, I just have uh, one more question here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, you did do really good. Oh, okay, so you are showing how you made that. Oh, Creativity by T. Hi, Talisha. We haven't gotten to your make yet, so we're almost there. Let's see. Okay, so this one has the cute little gnomes. Oh, how cute. Oh, I wish I could do something like that. I love the little Lizard King patterns. So she made the Galena dress for herself. The little Lizard King patterns, they also have boy patterns as well. But this is just so cute. I just need to, um, well, I'm just curious as well. Like how much time would you say that like how many hours do you get to sew each week? Like, do you do like one hour a day? Is it only the weekends? I'm trying to think how much time I probably sew. I try to sew like one hour each day in the mornings. And then I probably sew about four hours on the weekend. So probably about eight hours a week. Okay. One and a half hours, four times a week. Yeah, that's about, that's about me. I think I get about eight hours a week of sewing. Oh, yeah, you're lucky, Aunt Bees. <laughs> I think when my little one gets a little bit older, I'll have more time to sew. Oh, how cute. See, because I just love seeing everybody sewing for their little kiddos. Oh, here's another one of the same fabric. And I love that fabric. That is so cute. Another one for Creative Mama of Three. Your third lyric dress. I haven't heard, oh, Love Notions. I haven't ever sewn anything from Love Notions yet. Oh, 
just weekends. Oh my gosh, Maria. I love this. She sewed these for her nieces. Um, look at how pretty that is. And they each get a doll to go with it. And I love the coordinating binding. Oh, how cute. And I love these button downs. The last garment for this challenge. Yeah, Becky was actually very, very busy. Oh, and it's even got the cute darts in the back. Okay, Ricky sews. This is so cute. I This is one that I wanted to do, the around the block hoodie. And I just never got around to making one. And I love hers. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, here's the another one by Talisha, by Creativity by T. And I love, okay, I have that pattern in my stash. And I just, I haven't had time to make it yet. But I just love the fit of that. And she always has some really cute pictures as well. Very, very cute. Okay, so what we're going to do, and then this is from McCall's 8113. So let me put this one over here. Yeah, Creativity by T. She's been really busy this year also. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that right here. And we are going to do another prize. Okay, so this one is going to be, oop, sorry. Hold on a second here. Hold on, don't, don't comment yet because let me make sure I'm going to move forward for a minute. Okay, okay, yeah, we're not going to do that one yet. Okay, so now this next one is from Fabric Universe, and you're just going to type fabric, lowercase. And this one is for a $50 gift card. So I'll give you a couple more minutes to get that in. And then also just wanting to put this out here too, like YouTube is not affiliated with the giveaway, even with the Etsy gift card, Etsy is not affiliated, but Fabric Universe, yes, this is, they are, um, they are putting out this gift card. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like we've got everybody. So now let me go back over here to the giveaway tool. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let me get it ready real quick. Okay, let's see here. Um, and we're going to share this giveaway. Share. Okay, so we got fabric in there. Okay, here we go. Dixie! 
Very good, Dixie. Dixie Shoe is the winner. So I'm going to go ahead and write your name down. And that one is for the Fabric Universe gift card. Okay, so Dixie, just go ahead and um, you're going to want to email me, but also remember, put a little comment on here if your email does is not your regular, if it doesn't have your name Dixie in it, because then I, you know, I won't know. I might think, oh, is that somebody else? So let me go ahead and... Put my address it down again so you don't have to search for it. Okay, and then let's see, Dixie. Yay, thank Okay, so she put, yay, thank you so much. Okay, okay, so now we just have a couple more on here to do, and then we are almost done. Okay, so this one is so cute too. I actually, oh, Hold on, hold on. Let me fix, let me fix this thing down here. So I'm going to remove that. Oh, and then this one right here, I wanted to show you too. She sent in her make. Um, she just didn't uh, put it in the, the Instagram thing. She didn't want to show her face. But I love how festive that these pajamas are. So I didn't want to leave this one out either. And then we also have Barbara, who also emailed me because she doesn't have an Instagram. So I'm not sure if she was able to make it to this live stream, but she did the Simplicity 2184 skirt with a cute crochet poinsettia. And then the other one is Simplicity 8944, which is a cute jumper with a, that she and she crocheted a cute beret hat to go with it. Okay, so your email starts with Dixon. Okay. Okay, I'm just writing down the, the thing here. Okay, so um, let me see. I'm just reading your comments as well. Okay, so those ones, let me go back to this one okay and so this one look at how cute oh hold on let me make sure that i share this with you guys there's a lot of techie stuff that goes in with these live feeds so i'm gonna um stop that one for a minute and then i'm gonna share this one share okay there we go Okay, so that's very cute with her and her little daughter, and they grow so fast. Very cute. This one is from Lisa, and she did a very pretty velvety dress. Very cute. Oh, and then this is the one that we saw the fabric earlier, and then she finally made it with the button down. This is from Lorraine with the cute candy canes on there. <laughs> and then here is one Lisa show. This is her cute dress that she made with her cookie prints from Joanne's. And I think she even mentioned that she does make cookies. And then look at her cute little dog. There we go. That one is a little bit lighter. So you can see that. And then I'm just, I was seeing if, if you put the pattern in there. Oh, and I have this fabric right here. This one is from Simplicity 9240. And she's got the cute little pockets in there as well. This one is a raglan tee from Lucky Charlie. Oh, I love this one as well. Love this fabric. 
This one is made with Simplicity 9240. That's a cute picture too. Sorry, I'm reading the comments. Oh, Tiffany. Yes, they grow so fast, but that is just the cutest little picture. And then I like this one too, because she made these flannel pajamas for her husband and, or for Papa, and just basically saying that this is the most festive that he would get into. So that's cute. Oh, and then here's another one of her makes, Flitzy from Sio Ben Fern. And look at how cute her little kitties are. So this is a new one I haven't heard of. The fabric is from Caboodle Textiles. Made by me patterns. They're so cute when they're little. Oh, how cute is this? That one is very festive as well. Oh, and I have that fabric too. Love the raglan tops. That's from Mindy Makes and Bakes. Yes, the moose fabric one is very pretty too. I love that. Here is another one. Ooh, I love that collar. This is from Anne Sews Again. The top is made from a Love Notions. I've, I haven't ever tried the Love Notions pattern yet. Oh, and then here's, this is a familiar face. This is my little one. This is Rose, and I made these pajamas out of Raspberry Creek fabrics. So I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Um, and the pattern, I just I just used like a Ellie and Mac top and then just some existing leggings for the bottoms. Here's another one by Creativity by T. She got this one in at, I think it was the very last day, and I want this hoodie. It looks so comfy and fun and just something that you can lounge around the house in. <laughs> and she always has some really cute pictures. <laughs> and that one is by Simplicity 9456. Those are some cute pajamas. Oh, and this one is cute. This one she made Simplicity. Oh, 6563. This is a very popular um, shirt. And she's like, oh, I sewed the pocket on crooked. So you know what? That happens. <laughs> okay. And then I think, oh, and then here, I think this is the last one. Yes, she got it in in the nick of time. Kimmy sews. Oh, and I don't show that I'm following her. I'm going to hopefully I'm following everybody. So that one, I think those pajama pants are adorable as well. Oh, and then here's another one by Hobby Lover made with Simplicity 9385. I think this is one that I have. Maybe it's the one that I'm wearing. Okay, and then this is me from today. This one I made with, um, gosh, I can't even remember. Did I? Oh, it's right here. McCall 7286 from fabric that I got from uh, Raspberry Creek Fabrics. Yeah, I like the I liked the crooked pocket too. So April, when she said that, she's like, I didn't realize. I don't know what at what point that she realized, but I was like, it it doesn't even matter. I liked it too. Okay, so what we're going to do? Let me see. Is this another? Hold on. Why did that? Okay, I think I got all of them in here. Let me just look again. Oh, it didn't do like the, the other. Okay, so here is this one as well. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. And we almost missed it. This is from Wandering Bobbin. She won the first prize. And I love her Christmas pajamas. And she always takes the cutest pictures as well. 
And she's also doing the sewing vlog or sew vlogmas. Oh my gosh, how cute. This one is made from Simplicity 9113. Very cute and festive. This one I love too. This one is Rochelle's daughter. I was talking with her the other day too. I heard a little girl was saying that she wanted to wear this even though it was pajama day. So that I thought was so cute. She really, you can tell that she's really proud of this dress. Okay, and then we have a few more. Here's a cozy pajamas made with McCall's 7093. Very cute and festive. This one is so cute too. I love those sleeves. This is the Adrian blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Ooh, I love those sleeves and I love that it's knitted. This is one that I think I'm going to. Oh, and she also made this hat. So you'll have to find So Natural. So Natural Dane. And she even has a pattern for that hat. And then this one, that's another one that looks so super cozy. She said, oh, she didn't use a pattern on that one. And we have this one, Crafty Mystic from Iowa. She used Butterick 5954. I love the length of that one too. Oh, and I love how it's a little bit asymmetrical on the Butterick 5954. Very cute. Okay, so there we go. We did go through all of them. And so now we're going to do our final drawing. I, oh, yes, yes, we did do this one. Okay, so now let me go ahead and go like this. Add this to the stream. And we are going to do, oops, hold on. Okay, so we're going to do our final prize. It's showing in random order. Oh, yeah, but I, okay, let's see. I'm in. Oh, let's look at Made by Pam. She does the best sewing. Let me go up here and look at hers. I'm going to find it. Let's see. Okay, hold on. I'm getting hers really quickly here because I just found it. Okay, here's Pam's. She made this cute mask with these cute overalls. Oh, and they're little snowmen. But I'm also going to share with you. Yeah, that is really cute. And I've never made overalls before. but she made a cute mask with it. And I don't know how to get the video, the volume to show up, but let me come over here because I want to show you. Oh, let's see. I don't know what pattern that is, but she's got those really cute things on there. But I want to, I just want to show you really cute her Yodas. Look at how cute. Unmute it. Okay. 
and this is my entry for I'm So Festive 2021. I made a pair of overalls, and this is McCall's 7551. Oh, and she made the cute hat with it, too. And then I made a hat, Quick Sew 4203, and I made a mask. Very nice. Because it is still mask season and it is cold outside. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do. Let's see. I'm going to add this to the stream. Okay. So the last prize that we're going to do is an Amazon gift card. Wait, let's see. Did we do? Yeah, we're going to do an Amazon gift card next. And first, though, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching, so much for participating. And I do hope that you guys have like just a wonderful Merry Christmas. And no, I'm not leaving right now. We still got one more prize to do. But I just wanted to let you know, I know, let's see, we've been on here for over an hour. So I just want to thank you so much for your time. I, I appreciate your time and I want to go really, really fast. So, okay. So now the next one that we have here is the Amazon gift card. And what the word that you're going to use is going to be festive. So just type in festive, all lowercase. Okay, so I just want to give it a minute. I'm just looking at all the names. So we got Tracy, Maria, Amy. Yeah, all of your names are so familiar. Vanessa, Catherine, Karen. Wanda. Okay, so so the comments stopped coming in. So now I'm going to go ahead and update this. Okay, and then here we are. Okay, so this is the last one. I hope you guys are feeling lucky. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Okay, so we got 28 entries. And so some of you probably just are just here for, okay, at, okay, I just want to make sure I get everyone. So even though we have 44, sometimes people don't want to play the comment game. And so that, is fine. So I'm hoping that it's reading everybody on here. So hold on a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I went ahead and counted. Okay. So that sound, that looks good. So here we go. Jane Herrera. Woohoo. Congratulations, Jane. Okay, so make sure, Jane, when you email me. Yeah, not everybody commented. Not everybody wants to purchase, you know, put in for the drawing, and that's fine. But Jane, go ahead and you're gonna email me and make sure that it is, your email is coming from uh, Jane Herrera. If not, just go ahead and put on there like the first couple of words of who the email is from so that I know that it's you. So you are going to be the Amazon gift card. Okay. 
And that's going to Jane Herrera. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you're welcome, Sally. Thank you, the cozy nook. Jane. Okay, so Jane did. Re okay, Spawn, congratulations, Jane. And then I'm just going to put this down here one more time. Okay, and so I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I just, I don't know, I just can't thank you guys enough. And so I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And it was good chatting with you guys. And I will let you guys go for now. So thank you so much for watching. And have a good rest of your night. And I'll get a hold and then get a hold of me, th those that have won. Oh, thank you guys for posting. Really, you guys are really nice. <laughs> Okay, and I'll let you guys go and then you can still comment in the post below. I'll leave this feed up on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy sewing. Bye guys.